On this episode of What's New TV, we welcome world-renowned press photographer David Katz, who has a portfolio full of presidents, prime ministers, pop stars, and princes. I think there's even a Queen of England in there as well. But the most remarkable thing about David is that he did it all while being legally blind. Stay tuned. I'm Jeremy Ladner, and this is What's New. <music> Hi, David. Thank you for being on the show. It's great to be here, Jeremy. Thank you. My pleasure. All right, so let's talk a little bit about some background, fill the audience in on your condition. So you're not just a professional press photographer. You happen to be a professional press photographer who is legally blind. Is that correct? <laughs> that is correct. It's not something you hear every day. No, absolutely not. So let me make sure I get this correct. It's called albinism. It's a rare genetic disorder which causes nystigmus, which is involuntary movement of the eyes. Is that correct? That is correct, Jeremy. Okay, and so the obvious question that most people would have is, how does a professional photographer do their job with a condition like this? Well, that's a great question. Um, I'm not too sure there's many professional photographers doing the job. There's a lot of people with, um, with visual impairments who are keen photographers, but as far as we know, I'm uh, fairly unique in that situation that uh, there's probably not been someone who's worked at the level that I have, but um, you do it. It's not about how far you can see, it's about what you see. Right, that is, uh, that is incredibly accurate and incredibly telling. So. Looking at your portfolio, uh, and I'll bring that up here for, uh, for all the folks who, who might be interested, it's, it's remarkable that the people that you have the opportunity to point your lenses at uh, are, are some of the biggest names in the world. How do you manage to keep that secret? Uh, hard work, um, persistence, and pure stubbornness. Um. <laughs> Very, very impressive. So at, at some point, I guess it was about two years ago, uh, you started working on a documentary and, and your friends and your family, no one really knew what was going on. And sort of part of the, the narrative of the documentary was the surprise, the, the big reveal. Uh, how did that come about? How did that documentary come about? Well, it was always planned, Jeremy. I always planned on um, making my story public because my ultimate aim was to help people, to help other people um, with the condition and conditions like it with visual impairment. So I always planned on doing it. It was just a case of when and very few people knew the full extent of my condition, certainly in relation to my actual eyesight and, and how impaired it actually is. Um, it was just a case of when and I had to be at the right stage in my life um, it, uh, personally and professionally and I believe that I was and we went about telling the story and it was incredibly well received and everything that's happened in the last two years has, has led from that and everything has been incredible. Okay, so my understanding is after the documentary comes out, uh, all sorts of opportunities begin to come your way. Uh, well-earned opportunities, by the way. And one of those was the opportunity to start a foundation. And this uh, foundation, the David Katz Foundation, was designed, was created to help other people who are in a similar position to you were when you were a child. And your parents necessarily, as most parents, would not be in a position where they would know how to deal with something like that. This foundation is created to help young people and their parents cope with this, uh, this condition. Is that correct? Absolutely correct, Jeremy. Um, it was very important to me um, to be able to to use my platform as a, as a well-known photographer to be able to get this out there. And we, we, even we were shocked at quite how this took off. And, you know, I wasn't sure how people were going to react. Um, and the reaction was fantastic. It led me being asked to do TED Talks and go on national and international TV. And it led to me being able to bring the dream to the reality of setting up the David Katz Foundation, which we also call the DKF, which we've just achieved. Fantastic. So we're looking at the website right now for everyone who's uh, watching this on YouTube. Um, how do people get involved? Is it as simple as clicking on the Donate Now button? 
Well, we tried very hard, um, and, uh, and from the feedback, we've we've achieved that to make it as simple as possible. All anybody needs to do is literally go on the website, have a look at the videos. Um, everything's on there telling the story and what we're trying to achieve. And literally click on the orange donate button. It takes you to a Just Giving page. Uh, it's very simple to make a payment by credit card from whatever country you're in. Um, simple as that. I see. So it takes you to the justgiving.com slash David Katz Foundation page. Um, I've seen the videos. I've seen the documentary, obviously, several times. I was uh, was happy to be there on the night that it premiered with you. Um, and uh, and it's it's remarkable. And, and as are the other videos, for anyone who's interested in exactly what the foundation is doing, you can head over to uh, thedavidkatzfoundation.org. Check out those videos to get more information. Uh, David, thank you very much for joining us on the show today. My pleasure, Jeremy. Thank you. Fantastic. And thanks to all of you for watching. If you like the show, let us know. Uh, you can like, you can subscribe, hit that bell, and of course you can leave comments in the comment section down below. I'm Jeremy Ladner, and this is What's New.